best view of this storm. Sort of just mind blowing to see snow here, rain here, is from the air. WBC Sarah Robleski has been in Sky Eye throughout the day with a look at the damage from the storm. Taking to the skies again as this March nor'easter pulls away. Let's take a look at the conditions across the region. The coastline fared pretty well comparatively to other nor'easters, and the winds are still active. A little bit bumpier here today than it was on Monday, but the wave action, that should decrease as we go through tonight into tomorrow. The warmer onshore wind really squash any significant snow totals at the coast. For the majority of this winter, the ground has been brown and bare. But in typical New England fashion, March arrives and we get a fresh blanket of white. For some, you can actually see the elevations a little bit higher and there you've got snow. You don't have to look far to see where elevation plays a factor here. You can see not much snow uh, just south of Veterans Field here in Waltham. And then you look towards the neighborhood on the left hand side and they too have snow cover because the elevation is just slightly higher than other parts of the city. Our topography is pretty unique, pretty flat at the coastal plain, but once you go west of 495, the Worcester Hills, elevations rise to over a thousand feet in some areas. And when you get a nor'easter like yesterday, the upsloping caused by the hills or the wind movement up the hill helped to bring out extra moisture, which helped to bring over two feet of snow to some communities. We can still see today the heavy wet snow clinging to the trees, piled up high on roofs, all while cleanup efforts continue. Wachusett Mountain enjoying a late season refresh along the slopes, thanks to Mother Nature. And while we have fresh snow cover today, that March sun angle is going to make a difference. I'm sure the scene is going to look a lot different in a week or two. In Sky Eye, I'm meteorologist Sarah Robleski, WBZ News. All right, Sarah, thank you.